totally not done any filming today, but I've done so much already. So um, we had a family Christmas party last night, um, which was really fun. Um, then we, um, this morning, we got up early and picked up the car from town because we left it in town and got a taxi home because we were drinking. Um, and then I started cooking. So I'm going to have my family over tonight for um, nachos. Um, what are they called, James? Nachos, isn't it? Well, basically like tortilla chips and then kind of like a vegan chili on top and then vegan cheese. And then I'm making like a special um, dip sauce with cashew nuts and nutritional yeast, which is delicious. I didn't put in any real garlic, but it tastes nice enough, I think. I think I might put some lemon through it and a little bit of black pepper over the top, maybe. I think it needs something to cut through the the cashew nuttiness of it, but it is still, it's too good. I could eat it with a spoon right now. Um, but I meant to do some filming and stuff for that, but um, we also cleaned the entire house, um, which felt really good, really good. And we were just like in the mood for cleaning. So I didn't pull out the camera at all, but that's grand. Um, yeah, so I'm going, I'm actually, I have started spinning this beautiful bat by Pretty Funky Fiber. This is this is her beautiful label. She has these amazing labels that if you plant them, they've got seeds in them and they degrade into the ground. So I'm going to plant them in springtime. I'm gonna save them all up once I've done all the bats. I've got a huge bag, huge bag of five bats that she's made me up. I sent her some photos and she uh, made up some beautiful bats for me. So this is one of them. I'll open it out. So it comes off like this. She's got a very big carder. And I'll just show you what I do to prepare one. So a bat generally comes um, rolled up like this in a little snail. Um, and what you do is you open it up. So you unroll it. Normally it comes tied. She uses a little, a little ribbon. And then you unfold it. And it comes in this, it's kind of like a big cushion. Now it's not felted or anything, it's very brushed out, very airy and soft and fluffy. Um, so it's quite big. So what I do is I cut it into, I, I split it into strips like this. Um, this doesn't have any particular like color progression. There's no gradient or anything like that. If there was a gradient in one, so let's say I started white and then moved over to dark, I would like to probably split it halfways like that so pull it apart half and then spin one spin the other and keep them keep the gradient together that way but this one is just a pure random fun bat so I'm going to um, just split them into sections uh, like this so around this big and uh, just spin it so I've started spinning so far this is what the first one looks like so you can see the orange and the blue and the greys and the, the, the white streaks there. Um, I can't remember what this one is actually. Maybe did she tell me what it is? Oh yeah, so this is Merino Cashmere and Mint Fiber. <gasps> so interesting. Oh wow, so I'm gonna be spinning some mint in this. Oh, I love it, I love it. So um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. There's a tiny little bit of Stellina as well, and I'd say that's come from another rat, or maybe just from the bat, from the carder itself. So this is exciting. So I've started splitting it here. You can see I've split this one off. I've split this one off. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go across that way. And uh, there's 55 grams in this one. 55 grams. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is um, probably do make some three plies out of these because um, I, I haven't done a, a three ply in a while I've been talking about it so or I'm just going to spin and see what the hell happens who knows
Beans, the beans. Mm. I need to get better at this. This is Mr. Beans' ears, James. Maybe I'm something stupid. Mom, like, he's like, so floopy. Like James, he's so floopy. He's the floopiest. Do you like my hair? I do. Um, so I have decided my Christmas Eve cast on is definitely going to be my hand spun Hello Yarn fiber. I'm just doing a swatch. I just did a swatch at the moment. I'll show you how I did it. So this is my swatch of my hand spun. It's so exciting. <laughs> this was um, actually a, a little piece which was um, winding up the last bit of uh, off a bobbin which is it was actually perfect size to do a little swatch with so that's so handy Um this the way I do my swatches is if you see here it might be a little bit tricky to see just there you can see there's um, five pearl bumps there's one there's one there's one there's one there's one and what that is is it's an American size um, 3.75 millimeter these this one down here is uh, one two three four five six eight six american size six uh which is um a four millimeter needle and then this one must be so it went four three point seven five and then three point five um, yeah, and there's four bumps there, so it's an American four, so it just helps me to remember um what my needle size was if I don't label things, which I definitely don't ever. So this is just the normal clay. I think it's just like a work mat that I got in B and Q or something. And I just use thumbtacks. I do want to get T pins at some point, but and I want to get those blocking combs. I don't every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I should get them. And then I don't because I've chicken out of the price. But I think that it'll totally be worth it. Um, so once this is dry, I'm going to measure and see what kind of gauge I like. I kind of like this one the most because if you can see here it's a little bit loose here on certain patches um, which is where the yarn is thinner so I think a denser a denser um, fabric might be better for this hand spun because it's just a tiny bit um, I'm not sure I like this one it's a little bit um, I don't know a little bit too drapey I don't know you see I do want to get the most out of it though so I'm just going to do a little measure a little gauge uh, check after it's dry and just double check um, what my actual gauge is with this yarn and those different needle sizes and then I'm going to look up a pattern for that suits that gauge or I'm just going to do some adjusting of a pattern that I already have like the so faded or the Madewell, I think I have the Madewell as well. I have a couple of different patterns. So, um, but I need to get my yarn data first. So that's the best thing to do, I think. Um, it probably will be a top down either way because nobody wants to get to the top and run out of yarn. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not only wants to get the bottom and run out of yarn either, but a shorter sweater is better than a sweater with no shoulders. So <laughs> yeah, alrighty. Um, so my weaving's up there on the wall. Um, I'm probably about over a third of the way through that, I think. Um, I'm in a, I'm in a spinny, nitty mood though at the moment. So the weaving is up on the wall. There's my beautiful prints by Marion Prince. Beautiful hand, hand drawn, um, watercolours. Oh, let me turn. You can see me in the glass. But this is, I just love the way the wings make this shape. And she's just, oh, she's just a fabulous illustrator. So they're all watercolored. Really beautiful. And I love the, her use of, of negative space. I love her use of white um, in these drawings as well. Watercolor is something that I'm just amazed by the technique and the skill and I just don't have the patience for it. Like this is another one I absolutely love. I got this at the Atlantic Knitscape retreat. Um, I believe they're not running anymore. So 
it's really special that I got to go to two of them. So that was when I got the second one and this is the first one that I got. The first one that I got a uh, prize at, which is really special. Apologies about the um, succulent filth, but look at this! It's got a little crown and look at spins! Oh, that's not very sturdy. Now, this part doesn't spin, but sure, what can you do? I feel like that should be that way because this is the distaff with the flex on it. And then, sorry about my gross nail. Don't look at that. <laughs> Distance. But yeah, it spins. It's literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. Look at these little Playmobil characters. My God. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to do some spinning. Yay. <laughs> Gas.